Southwest Florida, welcome back to Lee Pitts Live. We are here at a fundraiser of magnificent proportion. One of the most important events of 2021. It is the earthquake relief restoration for Haiti. We're downtown Fort Myers on the River District in front of Sydney and Barn Davis Art Center. Lee Pitts Live is proud to be a media sponsor of this magnificent affair. Everybody who's anybody has come through for this very important fundraiser. This event with about four bands performing it was only $10 to get in. But you can also make donations to this fundraiser at concertforhaiti.com. I got right here the one of the organizers of this event. Let's get to get some more information. First of all, give your name and the name of your organization. Pastor Gene Verdes with Passion Rescue Mission. I am the founder and the CEO of this organization. What's your purpose? Our purpose is simple. We care about people. Um, we want to be able to come together with uh, other human beings to help our brothers and sisters of Haiti. That's our purpose. In simple yeah. terms, we care. And you are, you are, a, you are, a, you are Haitian yourself, yes. and you've been working at this for many years. How does it make you feel right now to see this large turnout and all these people supporting in any kind of ways that they can? I'm very grateful. Um, this is a great event. We're working with four great bands. So I want to first give a shout out to all of our sponsors, all of our band members, and seeing everybody here supporting this event is a wonderful, wonderful thing, Lee. It's now great you to got, see everybody come together. You got Lee Pitts live here from beginning to end. What does that mean to marketing what you guys are doing? Oh, it, it's big. It's big to have you with us, to have sponsors like Joe North, to have sponsors like Lee Pitts Live, uh, Mount Herman Church, uh, all of other sponsors to come together, and all of our supporters to come out here to make this happen for our brothers and sisters in Haiti. It's big. Sesame Street this to everybody in television land. What exactly is taking place right now? We're, we're here raising funds for our brothers and sisters that were affected by the earthquake a couple of months ago. A lot of them lost everything that they had. With your support, with your help, we can help them. We don't want to just put a band-aid on this, but we want to do something that's permanent. We want to go back and be able to make uh, changes that's permanent, that's sustainable, but we're doing that with your support. Thank you very much for your support. Now, people were not able to make it to this Talk about where they can go, how they can go about making donations, and how what these, these funds are going to be used for. You can go to www.passionrescuemission.org. We are a nonprofit organization. The funds that we're collecting right now are going directly to those that were affected. Uh, you, can, you, can, you can make a donation through our website, through our secure PayPal website, and everything, we do not have any overhead. Everything that's collected is going to go to Haiti. You mentioned that website. What is this website we have here? ConcertForHaiti.com. Can you get to that website from there too? Because that's what we've been saying. Yes. Concert for Haiti is for this event. It's collecting money and donations for this event. If you want to continue to support our, 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 our initiatives, if you want to continue to support Haiti, because there's a lot of other projects that we're part of, please visit PassionRescueMission.org. You, uh, we, I heard you early on up on the stage, you mentioned something about your father has started a tradition. Talk about that and how all this got you. Yes. You've been involved in the movement since you were a child. Yes, I was born in Haiti and uh, my, my late father had a school. He passed away in 2009. Uh, I'm sorry, he passed away in 2001. And in 2009, we, we reopened a school that he had and we dedicated that school to him. That school is named after my dad. And right now we currently have 225 students that's going to school tuition free at the school. And that's with the support of all of our donors and our sponsors that's making that happen. And one of the things I'm very proud of that of course the public doesn't know it, but I already made a $500 donation yes, sir. Yes. long before all this fancy stuff yes. took place. Tell them about it. Yes, <laughs> we were um, a few months ago, we, uh, and we're still doing this, uh, this campaign. We have a campaign to build classrooms for our students. It's $2,000 to build a classroom, and our generous Lee Pitts made a $500 donation to that campaign. And in a few months, I will be showing you pictures 
of constructions that's taking place. And if you want to take part of that, go to PassionRescueMission.org and get involved. I know you are shocked at how quickly I did it. Yes, sir. And I want people to know that the technology is there for them to do things really quickly. Yes, you can go online to make it happen. We have a secure PayPal account uh, at our website. We also have a GoFundMe. If you do a search for School in Haiti by Passion Rescue Mission, you will see the GoFund for the classrooms. Man, what I'm hoping that you would do and all of y'all who are involved with this is that y'all would continue to do these types of events. This is a huge success by any measurement and it is really not only it's great for a great cause, but it also gives us a chance to come out and socialize and hear some great music. Yes, well, it's our goal ne next year. We want to do this again next year. We want to continue. Um, we, we see what's happening right now to get people together, to listen to music, have a great cause. That's what we're planning on doing next year, having another event. Right now, you're here in collaboration band, a Motown group in the back right now. But early on, we had JPH. Uh, we heard, had Riverside Band. And we're going to close out tonight with Caribbean Groove. Talk about Caribbean Groove and what they got. Caribbean Groove, if you want to hear some reggae, you want to hear some merengue, you want to hear some compa, they mix it up however way you want. And they, they are closing us out tonight. So, and you still got time to make it out here. Uh, it, uh, it's 8, 8, 8 19. Uh, they're a wonderful band. And also, if you want them um, uh, as part of your party, if you're doing something, look up Caribbean Groove. Trust me, you won't, you won't, you won't forget them. Final question. Yes. Tell me how was it for you to get all of these, y'all to get all these different bands and the community to come together? Was it very supportive, very easy? This was a very, very easy project. When I pitched it to, to, to Jahida, uh, which is the leader of, of Caribbean Groove, she was on board. She got with the collaboration band, they were on board. Got with Riverside, they were on board. Got with JPH, they were on board. And all of our sponsors, like you, the North, uh, North Raw Farm, Dennis L. Webb, everybody just came together because this is such for a great cause. We all just came together and made it happen. We're here, you are there, together. Yes. We can work together That's for this right. community. Next, we're gonna have one of our esteemed political candidates who's running for District 19. I have already endorsed her, she's coming up. That's the great Sydney Banyer. We'll be right back.